Hello everyone. So I'm making this video one more time because I was recording this video and uh, there was a DPT collection guy who came to my house to collect the laptop. Yes, I purchased a laptop for my friend. But anyways, let us go back to the topic of uh, ECBI. So today we are learning ECBI and uh, we are basically trying to create a report based on the time tracking, the work log. Now the thing is that when you do time tracking in Jira, uh, I know that people are looking for ways to make time tracking feature in Jira to look like or to behave like something like, you know, standard time tracking where you have the list of resources and then you have a calendar view that you may want to fill up on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, what you can do with ECBI, I think I did mention it in the past, that try to optimize or try to use the tools that you have within Jira and uh, for doing time tracking to for, to uh, basically add your work log in Jira you don't really need to need a special interface I mean as long as you know what activities are assigned to let us say those resources for example if I have to work on five stories or five bugs then uh, what I can do is I can go to the stories and I can add I can log my work or log my work log or log my time and uh, when I log my time I have the option to do it on a specific date which is great because based on that, based on this information, you can also basically in a way tell your manager that yes, on Monday morning, I did this work, Monday evening, I did this something like I, I did something else and so on. So basically on a, 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 you, you can do log time logging on a day to day basis, basis, but using EZBI, using EZBI, you can actually create a report to show this information based on people who are logging their effort and also the day breakup so let me let me show you very quickly it, it is a, it is a very simple report but uh, you can do a lot of wonderful things when you are uh, creating a report like this using uh, ezbi i will go to ezbi and uh, using ezbi of course uh, we can do a lot of wonderful reporting and this view that i'm going to create right now is uh, already there by the way in a in a sample i believe a sample time tracking report but I, but we'll create our own report because uh, we want to learn how it works so let us create a new report and uh, what i want to do is and by the way when you create a new report you have these dimensions so you can actually straight away pull this uh, drag this dimension called log, logged by and uh, this logged by is going to give you a list of all the users who have been logging their time so right now of course we have two users uh, both of them are really good i know them ravi sagar they are both of them are nice, but we want to basically uh, do this do this uh, reporting based on uh, not issue created measure, but we want uh, uh, hours spent. So we can select this hours spent and we can maybe get rid of issues created because we are not really interested in the count of issues. We are, we are more interested in the time. And you can also do this for a specific issue, by the way. Uh, but let, let us do it for maybe a specific project or maybe for the entire Jira instance that we have so this is a report but uh, this report is telling us uh, like total count now of course you can bring in your project name maybe you know you want to filter it based on a project name like for android it could be different for uh, bug tracking this could be uh, different of course but uh, apart from selecting the project what i want to know is i want to know about my resources and how much work they are doing every day so i can drag in the time and uh, uh, move it to the column right next to the measure and uh, I can of course expand this it will give me like uh, now a more de detailed view based on uh, year like to 2018 19 20 and so on but what we can also do is instead of doing this uh, we can simply go to the drill into or expand and then we can select here day so basically when you select day here it will actually give you like the same information broken up or you know split like there's a split based on uh, the days now good thing about ezbi is that you can also use it to further filter this because this is of course right now giving me a lot of empty cells which i don't really care about so i can actually select here empty rows and columns and uh, at the same time um, i may also want to remove the all users so let us wait for this to to basically finish sometimes you know when you're doing a bit more extreme not a, this is not really extreme but um there are some calculations happening so now we have like much more neater view and what we can do is we can remove the all users like the, gro the grouping on top and this will of course now focus on only the users now this is of course definitely great now what i can also do is uh, 
I can actually save it. Let, let me first save it. Time tracking by time tracking user by day, something like this. I mean, try to name your reports nicely. And uh, let us also add a description. So time tracking. Perfect. And this is actually quite good. So let us take a look. Uh, I think uh, we have really nice information here. So for example, on, for example, Ravi did some work on 26th of April, then, uh, then that was it. He didn't really do anything after that. But uh, you have this nice view. And the good thing about this particular uh, report is that maybe if you want, you can of course filter it for a specific project. Maybe you can bring your project here uh, in the rows. Let us see how it works. So it's like a bottom up report. For example, for Ravi, uh, all the work log, all the work logs he did for different projects on a specific date is now displayed here. So this looks really, really, really nice. And let us also add total here, total of rows and columns. Maybe we want to remove the, I mean, it, maybe it is looking good to me because you may want to uh, remove the all projects, but I think it is nice to have this total on top for this project. Again, uh, total for this project and so on. And uh, this is definitely going to give me like a very nice, wonderful report. And people actually care about these reports because when you do time tracking in Jira, you want to use this information to know about uh, the um, effort that people are spending on these activities. And maybe you want to compare it with the original estimate because we do have this original estimate measure here. So maybe you can create a similar report based on original estimate. And the good thing about this uh, report is that it is going to like give you like a total. And uh, maybe you want to do the same thing for a list of issues. And then when you do the same, when you when you're using these measures, basically it will be like a rolled up view, uh, which is wonderful. For example, if you have a let us say epics and then stories and then subtasks, when people log their effort on subtasks, uh, you can actually view this number like time spent at that epic level, which is wonderful. And this is of course going, going to give us a really nice uh, view of uh, the information that is already there in Jira, but nicely presented in our standard time tracking timesheet functionality view. And uh, and this looks wonderful now. And I may, may, I may want to also add it to my dashboard. Let us go to the dashboard. Let us create a new dashboard because uh, why not? Let us create a new dashboard called uh, time tracking. And I'll probably create a uh, reports here focused only on time tracking. So let me just uh, select time tracking by user. I'll expand it and uh, I will save the changes. So this is of course my view of what is happening in my project. And of course, you know, you can also limit your view of uh, maybe, you know, you don't really want to know about 2020 and maybe you just want to focus on this year. So based on the time, uh, because we did use the uh, the uh, dimension here called time, which can be used to further uh, narrow it down. And uh, it's a simple report, but definitely useful because uh, you may want to, I'm sure you want to do this, right? Because everyone cares about time tracking in Jira. Uh, the only thing is that it is not really going to give you the ability to lock time from this view. But if, if I'm working on something, and let us say, you know, I'm just uh, logging my, and, and by the way, this all projects could be all issues, you know, or whatever issues this person is working on. So I can uh, further narrow it down and I can definitely see the items. Uh, so that ri right now it is of course b based on the component, but uh, you can actually click on, uh, let us say you want to focus on Android, right? Or let us look at service desk this, because this has like some number. So let us see drill through work logs. Let us, see, let, let us see what we have here. So we have the work log here and uh, uh, the, the individual issues, which is wonderful. And uh, if you go to drill through issues, you can definitely, I'm sure you can definitely see uh, the list of issues, actual is issues, the same information, but of course, simply the list. The good thing about this particular view is that you can actually open these issues in Jira, uh, either using the open all in Jira issue navigator, or you can click on this individual issue links. So really useful report and uh, I actually wanted to show it, show it to you because this I believe is going to help a lot. All right, so that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. 
and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye